the Oliveira Makachev fight. That's oh, the big one. That's yeah. the big one because there's so many questions. And you know, Oliveira has never fought a grappler like Islam. No. But Islam's never fought a guy who can submit people like Oliveira. Yeah. Can. Oliveira Most fucks everybody up. I he, always go to this, Joe. Sorry. Listen. Ooh, look at that. <sighs> Michael Chandler fight. Mm hmm. A guy that had great wrestling. Mm -hmm. Michael Chandler can fuck a wrestler. Yeah. He was dominating Oliver. Oliver didn't submit Mike. He knocked, he TKO'd him. Yeah. So, in terms of grappling, right. Mike was destroying Oliver. Almost finished him. In but Oliver, he, he, Chandler caught him. Caught him. He caught him and hurt him. Yep. And then one of the things that Oliveira does when he gets hurt, he just goes right to his back. Bro, that's some Nate Diaz shit. It's smart because his guard is nasty. His his guard is so wicked. He submits What did he do people. with Gaethje? Did Gaethje go into his guard? No, Gaethje kind of stepped back out. But he cracked Gaethje. Gaethje said eight, first eight seconds. something about yeah. the way he hit him. He said he hit him so hard he felt it in his tongue. Yeah. He's like, it just, like, he goes like, that guy can He said he never crack. got hit like that before. Yeah. And that's Which scary. Is wild. Oliver is big, bro. He's big. He's a big, and and this is the thing. I, I don't know if Khabib and him are playing warfare and the fans are getting mad. I don't know if he's gonna show up to the fight. That's warfare, they playing mental warfare, right? That's what I believe. Charles is big, man. Yeah, well, it's amazing too that he fought at 45. And that's probably responsible for some of his losses that he got oh, so yeah, of dehydrated. Of course. I mean, look, think about Gilbert Burns fighting Dan Hooker. I was, Crazy. I filmed him that week, drained himself. Soon as he, I remember when Dan Hooker beat him and after the fight, Dan Hooker was like, I didn't beat fucking Gilbert Burns. I beat a deflated Gilbert Burns. Yeah. He like he was honest about that. It's the beautiful art because with, with jujitsu, it's the one martial art where the big guy can get dominated by the little guy. Sure. Because in the, the reality is, any other world where like a guy size of say like. Um, uh, Michael Chandler has zero chance against a guy the size of Francis Ngannou. Mm -hmm. Zero. Like, zero. <laughs> like, if they're sparring, like, if they're just going to throw hands, he has zero chance. Yeah, yeah. I'm putting to all even my get chips close. on the big guy. Yeah. All of them. But in jiu-jitsu, if you get a guy like Charles Oliveira, who's that good at jiu-jitsu, he could strangle a fucking heavyweight. Yeah, sure. And I've seen it. I've and seen probably it happen. Could. Oh, yeah. yeah. I've seen it. Guy who doesn't know jujitsu gets, and he's rolling, just doing jujitsu with a guy like him, and he gets your back. Oliveira's jujitsu is some of the best I've ever seen in MMA. It's like it's like Seamless. world championship caliber jujitsu, jujitsu, but he's doing it in an MMA match. He's the one, the one guy where it doesn't matter what happens in the fight. If you go to the ground with him, you're in deep shit. Yeah, yeah. Like that Dustin Poirier fight. They're all scared to do it. Yes. Like uh, Gaethje had him hurt. Yes. He's like, no, no, no. But when he, you see what happened when he dropped Gaethje and then he got it to, on top of him, he just strangles yeah. you. Choose just your goes poison. straight to it. I think he's at a resurgence too, because I remember when he was like, uh, kind of got on this roll. They were like, "Oh, dude, no, nah, I don't think so," because he's a quitter. You yeah, know, he's, he's weak. I'm like, "All right, dude, fuck that." Isn't that See interesting? Ya. How like, I wonder what it is that cha changes in a fighter. Is it is it a mindset thing? Is it like, I don't know what it is, but something happens where some guys just they don't quit anymore. They well, just get to this level. And something changes. It was uh, my wife uh, grew up with Oliveira in uh, Guadalajara, Brazil, oh. and so she knows him really well. And he just kind of eliminated all the negative people out of his life. Really? Uh, so I guess probably started taking training more seriously. You know, put more time and effort in the gym, and not so much into other people. I talked Dude, to now he's like knocking Cormier people out. Too. Yeah, knocking people out, strangling people. Is the most submissions ever in the history of the sport. He's the one guy that I really wish Khabib would have fought. Like now. Like if Khabib was going to come back. And I wonder. I mean, I I'm very interested in Khabib versus Islam Makhachev. Because that's, to me, that's the big fight in lightweight. Khabib or Charles? Did I, did I say Khabib? I meant Charles. I meant Oliveira. Oliveira versus Islam Makachev. But if Islam Makachev loses to Charles Oliveira, then if Khabib had like one more in him. You don't think there's a price tag they could throw at him? That's what I'm saying. Like, like they he's like break the bank. Bro, he's as heavy as you right now, though. What if Charles Oliveira beats Islam Makachev? Yeah. What happens then? Then he fights. The what if he Justin submits him? And he calls out Khabib. 